Daisy. Good girl. Mom, we're home. Hey guys, how was school? It was fine, I guess. We have to write an essay on the French and Indian War. For what class? Social studies. And I have to read chapter three of A Raisin in the Sun for language arts. It sounds like you kids have work to do. You better get on it. Can't believe we only have like two more weeks until Christmas. Yeah, I hope mom and dad got me the game I asked for. What game are you talking about? Warzone 2.0? You guys know Dad and I are going to my cousin Margie's holiday party tomorrow night, right? No, but it sounds like fun. Yeah, like, are we invited? No, guys. This party is gonna be adults only. No kids allowed. You guys are going to Grandma's. Grandma's? What? No, I don't want to go to Grandma's. Why not? Mom, you, like, don't understand. She lives, like, an hour away, and it's so boring there. Yeah, and we don't even need a babysitter. Yeah, Mom, like, we're not little kids. We're old enough to be home alone. We're not leaving you two here by yourselves. Plus, Grandma's expecting you guys. Besides, Aunt Sarah and Uncle Lucas are also going to the party. So Liam, Ellie, and Lily will be at Grandma's too. That'll be fun for you guys. This sucks. Hello. Hi, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Hi, Mom. We really appreciate you taking care of the kids tonight. Yeah, it's really nice of you. Now you take good care of them, alright? Of course, dear. There's nothing I love more than my precious grandkids. We'll have a great time. I'm making spaghetti for supper. That's good. And it will be nice for the kids to see their cousins too, right guys? Yeah, I guess. But, like, no one uses the word supper anymore. It's 2022, not the 1800s. Jess, be polite. She's your grandmother. Now you two spend some time with her. Have fun. Well, Mom, Dave and I better get going. We don't want to be late for the party. We'll be back to pick up the kids later. Kids, come give me a hug before I go. Bye, Mom. Why do you have to leave us here? Also, like, where's Liam, Ellie, and Lily? I thought they were coming. They should be getting here soon. Just hang in until then. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye, kids. I'll see you later. Bye, my dear. You two have fun at the party. Tell Margie I said hello. I hate this. I know, Rye. I'm, like, so bored already. Me too. I mean, look at this place. It's a dump. There's nothing even remotely inviting about it. I just want to be at home with my Xbox. I'd much rather be at home too, Rai. I mean, look at this TV. It's so old and boxy, and like, the quality on this thing sucks. At the very least, get an HD TV, Grandma. Yeah, and get rid of the VCR too. No one watches VHS tapes anymore. This house has got to be like at least a hundred years old. Hello, kids. I'm preparing some tea. You guys want any? Sure, Grandma. No thanks. I'm not much of a tea drinker. Come on, dear. Have some tea. It's good for you. <sighs> okay, I guess. So how are you doing in school, kids? Fine, I guess. Yeah, I'm doing okay in school. I, like, have good grades and everything. Hey, Grandma, where's Grandpa? He's resting, dear. You know he's been very sick lately. Yeah, we know he's not well. Can we see him? Okay, come with me. He's in here. Just be careful not to wake him up. Hi, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. It's us, Jess and Ryan, your grandkids. Remember us? He's sleeping right now, dear. Let's let him rest. <sighs> okay. Come on, Ryan. Let's let Grandpa sleep. That must be your cousins. I'll go let them in. Well, hello. Hi, Mom. I apologize. Ellie had a soccer game and it ran late. That's quite all right. Hello, Liam. Hello, Ellie. Hi, Grandma. Hi. Hi, guys. 
Jess! Ryan! Hey, Liam. How you doing, bro? Guess what? Ellie's soccer team won today. Really, Elle? That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats, Elle. Hi, Jess. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Aunt Sarah. You kids excited for Christmas? You know we're coming Christmas Eve, right? Yeah, Aunt Sarah. We're, like, really excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I hope my parents got me Warzone 2.0 for Christmas. That way Liam and I could play together. Yeah, Ry, that would be fun. Aw, oh, come here, Lily. <laughs> I don't want Grandma. I want you, Mommy. I know, sweetie, but Mommy's going to a party. You get to spend time with Grandma now. Won't that be fun? No, Mommy, don't leave me. Don't worry, honey. It won't be that long, I promise. I'll be back in just a few hours. No, I don't want you to go. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm already running late. I've got to go. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have fun with Grandma. Bye, my dear. We'll have a great time. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I'll see you later. Mommy, don't leave me. <laughs> it's okay, Lily. We're right here. Let's play a game until Mommy comes back. <laughs> when is Mommy coming back? She'll be back to get us later, Lily. She's going to a party. But I want her now. <laughs> Aw, it's okay, Lily. Cousin Jess is here. Yeah, and Cousin Ryan. Remember me? I'm your cousin. I don't want to be here. I want to go to the party with Mommy. I know, Lily, but, like, only grown-ups can go to the party. No kids. Don't worry, Lily. We can still have fun here. Let's play a game or something. Yeah, Lily, I brought my Barbies. Want to play with me? Yeah. Do, 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 so, like, do, do. what do you guys want for Christmas? I want Legos, Hot Wheels, and Star Wars stuff. I also want a new train set. What about you, Ellie? What do you want for Christmas? I want the Barbie Dream House and some My Little Pony stuff. And I think Lily wants some Paw Patrol toys. Are they seriously still making new episodes of Paw Patrol? That show is like 10 years old. It's been around since like Ryan and I were little. Yeah, Lily loves Paw Patrol. Ellie and I used to like it. It's time for supper, kids. Come to the table. I made spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti's my favorite. This time. Hey, hey, hey! How's it going over here? This is a great party, Margie. Thank you for inviting us. Of course. I mean, you're my cousins. I had to invite you. You really do know how to throw a party, Margie. By the way, how's the new job going? It's stressful, Angela, but I can handle it. Everyone at the office is really nice. That's wonderful, Marge. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, good luck at your new job. Thanks, guys. Also, how are Jessica and Ryan doing? It's been so long since I've last seen them. They're doing good, thank you for asking. They're actually at my mom's house. Yeah, so are Liam, Ellie, and Lily. That's nice. They get to spend time with their grandma. Yeah, except my kids do not like going there. You know, it's an old house. There's not really much for kids to do there. Plus, they probably miss being home with our dog, Daisy. And you know Ryan loves his video games. He does not like it when those get taken away from him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Speaking of that, how is Uncle John doing? I know he's been very sick. Yeah, he's not doing well. We're pretty worried, actually. Yeah, Marge. He really doesn't seem to be getting any better. Oh no, I hope he's okay. We hope so too, Marge. So, can I get you guys anything else to drink? I have soda, I have red and white wine, or I can make you a drink like a margarita. No thanks, Marge. I've got to drive home. Yeah, us too. But I will take a soda. Coke? Sure thing. I'll go get that for you right away. Be right back. This spaghetti is so good. I have to agree with you, bro. Grandma's a good cook. Thank you, dear. I did exactly what my mother taught me. You mean like the spaghetti sauce recipe? Yes, dear. I'm done. Me too. 
You don't have to follow me everywhere, Lily. Guys, don't go up there. You'll wake up Grandpa. Ellie, Lily, come back down here. Look, it's Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Ugh, ugh. There you two are. You woke Grandpa up. Now go back downstairs. Did they wake you, dear? I'm sorry. It's fine, honey. I need to use the bathroom. Here, let me help you. Grandpa, you're awake. Hey, Grandpa, how are you feeling? Hey, kids. Feeling a little under the weather is all. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon. Okay, kids. Let's leave Grandpa alone now. I'm just taking him to the bathroom. And then he's gotta go back to bed. Why don't you kids head downstairs and we can have my special butter cookies that I made. Yeah! yeah! Butter cookies! Come on, guys. Let's go downstairs. Thank you for making your butter cookies, Grandma. They're so good. They're delicious. You're welcome. I know how much my grandkids love them. Grandma, when is Mommy coming back? Soon, dear. Soon. I want my Mommy. <laughs> it's okay, Lily. She'll be back soon. Separation anxiety, huh, Lily? Yeah, she's really attached to our mom. Lily always cries when our mommy leaves her somewhere. Can you call her, Grandma? Oh, honey, your mother is enjoying herself right now. Let's not bother her, okay? How about a story, kids? Yes, yeah, story time! Ryan and I are a little old for story time, Grandma, but, like, we know you guys love it. Grandma's stories are the best because they have lessons behind them. Yeah, bro. Morals. All right, now. I'm going to tell you kids a story about Christmas and the real meaning of it. Great. Christmas is coming up in just a couple weeks, so this is perfect, Grandma. Yeah, I'm so excited for Christmas. Me too. Let her tell the story, guys. All right. Once upon a time... There was a young girl named Emily. Now, Christmas was coming up soon, and little Emily was really excited about all the presents she would receive on Christmas morning. She had hoped that her mother and father had gotten her all of the toys and dolls she wanted. Then, on Christmas morning, Emily was opening her presents when she came across a big box with her name on it. What's in the box? Is this the new bicycle I wanted? Emily asked her mother and father. Well, you'll have to open it and see, said her mother. Emily then opened the box, and there it was. A brand new bicycle. Except Emily wasn't too happy. You got me a blue bicycle. I wanted a red bicycle, Emily cried. She was very, very upset because her mother and father didn't get her the colored bicycle she wanted. Okay, first off, Grandma, no one says bicycle anymore. It's bike now. And second of all, that is so ungrateful. I mean, she got a new bike. Like, a lot of kids would be excited about that. It's like the best possible thing you could get for Christmas. I haven't even finished telling the story, dear. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Emily, you should be grateful you got a bicycle for Christmas. A lot of kids don't get any presents on Christmas, Emily's mother said. But little Emily didn't care. She was a very ungrateful little girl. This is the worst Christmas ever, Emily claimed before going outside. Then, when she got outside... What did she see? A young boy of her age who was crying. What's wrong? Why are you crying? She asked the boy. To which the boy responded, My mother and father are very poor, so they couldn't get me any Christmas presents. Then an idea popped into Emily's head. What she did was she took the bicycle that her mother and father had gotten her and gave it to the boy. The boy was very grateful and happy that Emily gave him the bicycle. He was very happy to have a Christmas present. 
Thank you, the boy said to Emily. Emily then realized that Christmas isn't about getting presents, but giving. Oh, I get it. This story is supposed to teach you the true meaning of Christmas. Yeah, guys, like, Christmas is about what you give, not just what you get. I know, but will we still get presents? Of course you will, dear. But it's also very important to focus on what you give to others. Yeah, Ellie. Like, I'm going to the mall on Thursday to shop for my friends. Me too. But I don't have any money to buy presents. Me neither. What are we going to do? Well, there are still ways you can give to others. For example, you can tell your mother how much you love her. That's giving. Yeah, guys. Like, you can give a compliment to someone. Compliments are nice. They make people feel good. Yeah, or you can make something for someone. Draw them a picture or something. Great idea! Lily, why don't you draw a picture for Mommy to show her how much you love her? Yeah! And I'll draw Dad a picture of a basketball, because he loves basketball. He always watches it on TV. You know I love basketball too, Liam. Come on guys, let's get some paper and crayons. Ooh, that must be your parents. Is Mommy here? Is Mommy here? Who knows, Lily? It might be our parents who are here. Finally, we can go home. Get out of this dump. Hello. Come on in. So, how was the party? It was nice. We all had a great time. Margie says hi, by the way. Aw, that's nice. Well, I'm glad to hear you had fun. That's wonderful. Mommy! Mommy, I missed you! Aw, honey, I missed you too. Did you kids have fun with Grandma? Yeah, Grandma made her butter cookies, and she told us a story about the true meaning of Christmas. Yeah, Mommy, we want to give this Christmas. We even drew you pictures. Aw, that's nice. I'm glad you kids had fun. Hey, kids, how was Grandma's? It was okay, I guess. Having our cousins here definitely made it more bearable, that's for sure. That's nice, that you got to spend time with Grandma and your cousins. Yeah, Mom. Can we go home now? Yeah, I just want to go home and see Daisy and play my Xbox. Hang on, kids. We've got to say goodbye to Grandma first. Oh, yeah. Bye, Grandma. It was nice. Yeah, we had fun. Glad to hear, kids. Now, I'll see you again on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Grandma, we'll see you then. Bye, Liam. Bye, Ellie. Bye, Lily. We'll see you guys in a couple weeks for Christmas. Yeah! yeah! We'll have so much fun. You kids ready to go? Yeah. We didn't even want to come in the first place. I know the feeling. You just want to be in the comfort of your own home. But at least you got to spend some time with Grandma. That must have been nice. Yeah, Dad. Hey, Jess. Hey, Ryan. How you guys doing? Hey, Uncle Lucas. We're doing great. So excited you guys are coming Christmas. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, all of us together. We'll go to church, go out for dinner, open presents, eat cookies. Yeah, and if I get Warzone 2.0 for Christmas, Liam and I can play together. Yeah, we'll have a great time. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, we better get going. We have a long drive ahead of us. Yeah, and we've got to get the kids to bed at a reasonable time. Of course. Now you all get on home. I'll see you all in two weeks for Christmas. Yeah, Mom. Now come on, guys, let's go. Bye, Mom! Bye! Bye, Grandma! Bye, Grandma! Aw, oh, bye, kids. We had a great time. Bye, Angela. Bye, Sarah. 